As you sit down on your mat here today, just take a moment to receive the place you're in. Not only the external place, but more the space within. Where you can really feel the breath moving. Let the shoulders relax. Try not to create any tension right now. Let the thoughts in your mind just pass by like the clouds in the sky. Take five more deep breaths here. Maybe you feel the belly expanding as you inhale and contracting with your exhale. If you like, invite Ujjayi breath by restricting the back of the throat. And then guide the hands together in front of the heart. Invite your intention for today's practice. Stay with your own needs and adjust this practice to what you need today. Or open class by chanting one arm together. Inhale. to the chest. Even though this practice is based on th um, strength and activating the core, maybe you can find some softness within that. Inhale, bring the arms over the side, over the head. Exhale, twist over the left. Chest open. Try to pull the navel into the spine. And the chest up. Just round Inhale, out, and exhale, round. One last time. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, let the navel drift towards the spine. Inhale, arms over the side, reach up tall to the other side. Find the straight back first, and then some cat-cow movements here. In the twist, maybe you can integrate the shoulder as well. The shoulder rounds to the front. And as you open the chest, the shoulder pulls back. And last one. Neutral spine, arms over the side, over the head. Let the hands come to the front. Just rest the forehead on the mat. Take three long breaths here. Maybe you want to wiggle the spine a little bit from right to left. See how the spine feels today. And then roll yourself back up into a seat and roll over the feet. Come in a tabletop position on your mat. Make sure the shoulders are over the ribs. Tuck the toes under so you can lift the knees up. We go for cat cow here as well. Sink the chest down. Exhale round. Pull the navel into the spine. Inhale, chest moves forward, shoulder blades squeeze together. Exhale, round and go. Last one. Sink the chest through. Exhale. Straighten out the legs. Find yourself in a down dog. Take two long breaths here. Do you need to bend the knees? Do you want to? Shift the weight forward and back, also in the hips. And then come onto the toes here as well and try to arch as you look to the front of the mat. 
and exhale round. It's much easier to do it with the knees bent. If you're a very flexible person, you might not need that, but then you also have less range of motion. And we are also in the beginning of the practice, so make some space in your body. Straighten out the legs if you can, shift back forward into a plank. Lower all the way down onto the mat, and stay next to the chest. Inhale, lift you into a cobra, stay light on the fingertips, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, roll back down. Two more times. Inhale, lift the heart and chest. Exhale, release. Last one. One more to breath at the top. Up. Bring the arms to the side. Take a little flat. Hands next to the chest. Press yourself back towards the heels. And then to downward facing down. One deep breath. Maybe exhale out of the mouth. Make your way to the front of the mat, halfway lengthen your spine. Adho Tanasana. Exhale, bow forward over your necks. Tanasana. Come all the way up to standing, arms over the side, over the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll start doing some sun salutations. Inhale, arms up and back, Hasta Tanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, step the right foot back in a low lunge, chest open, hips low. Both feet meet in plank, knees, chest and chin. Roll forward into a cobra. Exhale, pushes your back, downward facing down. Right leg lifts high. Open the heel to the glued knee to the sky. Draw the knee towards the forehead, but stay in the down dog. Then look to the front and step in between the hands, low lunge on the right side. Both feet meet, forward fold. Inhale, arms up and over the side, over the head, arch back. Exhale, Tadasana. Left side, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, step the left foot back, low lunge on the side. Both feet meet in the plank. Lower the knees, the chest, the chin. Slide forward into your cobra. Exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts high, open the heel to the glute, knee towards the sky. Rotate the hip parallel, bring the knee towards the head, but stay in down dog. Then look in between the hands, step, low lunge. Both feet meet, forward fold. Inhale, arms up and back. And exhale, Tadasana. We'll add a little bit more onto this, arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, right foot steps back, low lunge. Both feet meet in plank if you want, full chaturanga with the knees up in the air. And upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Right leg lifts high, open the hip. This time cross the knee under and come to a side plank with the left foot down, left arm up. Keep squeezing the right knee in, both hands down, look to the front, low lunge, arms up. Hands in front of the heart, twist to the right, look over the right shoulder for just a breath. Inhale, back to center, both hands down, feet on the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, arms up and back, hasta tenas. Exhale, Tadasana, left side, arms up and over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, set the left foot back, low lunge. Hands down, step it back to plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Bend, half it facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Left leg high. 
open the hip. And then bring the knee to the chest, roll onto the inner edge of the right foot, left knee stays in, right arm up. Very good. Both hands down. Step the left foot all the way to your low lunge. Arms up and over the side. Hands to the heart, twist to the left. One more breath. Come back to center, both hands down, both feet step together, forward fold. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, Tadasana. Arms up over the side, sit back into a chair. Hands in front of the heart, twist to the right, just with the chest. So you're not lowering elbow to knee, you just twist from the chest. Inhale through center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Let's do two more times on each side. Really squeeze the side oblique, squeeze the knees together, the feet. Use your exhale to twist. Meet back in the center. You can bring the arms over the head, maybe sit a little bit deeper. Exhale, hands down, forward fold. Halfway lift, step or jump back into the plank. Shaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Come back forward into a plank. Knees are floating. Shift the weight onto the left hand and bring the right hand on the back of the head, rotate the elbow open to the side, exhale, try to tap it down to the inside of the left arm, inhale, rotate open, exhale down, if it's too much with the knees floating, just bring the knees down, inhale up, exhale down, two more times, rotate the elbow as much as you can, tap on the left, one more, and exhale, both hands down, bring the knees down, sit over the heels. Two long breaths before we do the other side. Feel how the core and the thighs are connected to make the side obliques working. Come back, tabletop, either knees down or float the knees up, shift the weight to the right without moving the body to the right. Left hand behind the head, rotate the elbow open, exhale, tap, in, open, exhale, tap, feel the center, keep the weight in the center there, two more times, connect to the breath as you move through this practice. Both hands down, shift it back to downward facing duck. One cycle of breath. Right leg lifts high, heel to the glute, open the hip like we did before. Rotate it underneath, come onto the inner edge of the left foot, side plank variation. If you want, you can straighten out the bottom leg. Rotate back. Three-legged down dog, right leg left high. Step the foot on the outside of the right hand this time. Left hand stays down, low lunge, right arm lift. Twist it open. Exhale, tap to the inside of the foot. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower. The last one. Inhale, here. Exhale, low. Stay low. Walk the hands back, both if you can, maybe just the right, so the right um, shoulder is underneath the leg. You can stay here on the fingertips. If you want more, you can float the hands above the floor. There's the hands back underneath. Step the right foot back, keep it up in the air if you like. And make a chaturanga. And foot facing up. And exhale back to downward facing down. Left leg high. 
open the hip. Rotate it under, side plank variation, knee in or leg straight up. Hold for a moment here. Both hands down, left leg high, three legged down dog. Step it to the outside of the left hand. Left hand behind the head, rotate the chest open. Exhale, tap the inner foot. Inhale, open. Use the core to tap down. One more time. Stay down so you can walk your left hand behind, your right hand maybe as well. Pull the navel in and up, keep reaching with the chest forward if you want to float the hand. Keep using the stability of your whole body to stay here. Bring the hands back down. Lift the left foot back. Keep it lifted if you like. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, back to downward facing down. One deep breath. Exhale it out. Step or jump to the front of the mat, halfway lift, out of Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up over the side and back. Exhale, Tadasana. Sit back down into your chair. Hands in front of the heart. Hover the left foot. Back to warrior three and then twist to the right side. Bring the knee back in to your midline. Try it one more time. Left leg back, twist to the right side. Last one. Do it slow. Back to center. Exhale, twist. Find your chair with Katasana. Sit a little lower. Pull the navel in and up. Hands in front of the heart. Shift the weight to the left. Just hover the right. Straighten it out, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, knees into the midline. Exhale, twist. Up. One last time, pull it in. Exhale, twist. Knee back into our chair with Katasana. Bring the hands back, belly to thigh. Come onto the toes, find the balance here, squeeze the knees in. Hands down, feet down, straight leg forward fold. Halfway left, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. And halfway facing down. And exhale, brings you back to downward facing down. Right leg high. Open the hip. Cross it under. Inside of the left foot. Stay here or lift the bottom leg up five times. Bring it back, three legged down, down. Step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Right hand behind the head, open. Exhale, dip it down. Two more times, open. Exhale, down. Last one. Right hand down on the inside of the right leg. Rotate the left foot parallel with the back of the mat. Left arm up. Come all the way up into your warrior two. If you need to adjust the feet, go ahead and do. Hands behind the head, elbows one. Crunch the right elbow to the right knee. Inhale up. Exhale, try to reverse it to the left side. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, up, other side. One last time. And back into your two. Reach forward with the right hand, lift the left leg up in your half moon. Bring the left hand behind the head. Try to bring the knee to the elbow. Straighten it out. Bring it in from the core with the balance. 
Do it two more times. Half moon. Knee to the elbow. Last one. And back to your half moon. Rebend the right leg. Step back, warrior two. Right palm flips. Exhale, reverse it. Stay low in your right leg. Pull the navel in. Release the side oblique. Inhale, warrior two. We're going to let down. Right leg lifted if you like. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, we're facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. One breath to neutralize. And left leg high. Open the hip. Cross it under a side plank variation. Left leg lifted if you like. Stay here or lift the leg five times. One, two, three, four, and five. All the way back. Three legged down dog. Left leg high. Step it through to the outside of the left hand. Right hand is your foundation. Left hand behind the head. Rotate open. Exhale, dip. Open as much as you can. Use the side obliques to twist open. Last one. Stay low with your left elbow on the inside. Place the left hand on the inside of the foot. Right foot parallel. Open the right arm up. And then use the legs to come all the way up into warrior two. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Lean to the left, elbow to knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, back. Inhale, center. Exhale. Very nice. I like the pace that I see you're going. Last one. And climb back in warrior two. Left hand down, right leg lifts, half moon. Right hand behind the head, try to bring the knee to the elbow, straighten it out, half moon crunches. One at a time, if you have a struggle with the balance, maybe just stay in the half moon. And then, and back to half moon, right arm up, rebend the standing leg. All the way up, warrior two. Wind leg down, left leg lifted if you like. Chaturanga. And have it facing down. And exhale. All the way to downward facing down. One long breath. Exhale it out. Shift back forward to plank, cover the knees above the mat. You can totally stay here if you already feel like that's a lot for your core. Otherwise, you can bring the right leg straight back. You can come onto the left fingertip. Maybe straighten out the left arm as well. Floating table top. Left hand down, right foot as well. Maybe just lift the left leg. Maybe on the right fingertips. Maybe right arm to the crown. Back to the floating table tap. Shift it back to downward facing down. Inhale forward to plank. Bring the toes together. Shift the weight onto the left or maybe stay on the right fingertips if you want more hand behind the head. Rotate open and down five times. Also that you can come back to the tabletop like we did in the beginning if you don't, uh, don't want to do it in the plank. Or just hold the plank, also very effective. Right hand down, do the weight shift, left hand behind the head, rotate the elbow open to the side, do it slow. Just five times as well. We'll meet back in plank, lower the forearms down, forearm plank. This time we work with the legs, we just step the hips from side to side. Up 
half circle to the right, half circle to the left. And five, four, three, two, and last one. Come back to center, lower the hips down. Give yourself a spring pose by pulling the elbows towards you, opening the chest, head neutral. If you feel it in the lower back, bring the feet a little wider. Lower down onto the chest, right arm out. Roll onto the right shoulder by bringing the left foot back. You can keep it bent or sometimes I also like to keep it straight to get a little more length. Bring it back to your midline. We'll do the other side, left arm out, right foot either back. we we'll straighten the leg out. A little stretch on the left shoulder or pec muscle. Bring it back to center. Hands underneath the chest. Roll back into a child's pose. Reconnect with the intention. Feel how the movements feel in your body. Are you still staying true to your own needs of this practice? We'll meet back in down duck. Step or jump to the front, halfway left. Exhale, forward, forward. Utkatasana chair, arms alongside of the ears, sit low. We're doing a, a little different sequence here. So you feel the weight on the right foot, tap the right hand to the right foot, sit back into your chair. Diagonal, tap the foot. If it's not accessible for you to tap the foot, maybe you just want to tap the knee. You want to make sure you sit down into your chair and then go the other way. So you try to bring the foot to the height of the shoulder, straighten out the standing leg as much as you can. Let's do five more. Maybe create a little sweat and heat in your body. And last two. Look back into your chair. Just bring the right knee hovering, press into your standing leg. Straighten out the front leg. Let me show this from the side. Left arm to the front, right arm back. Keep the active twist, keep pulling the knee up. Arms over the head, swing the right leg back. Oop, find a moment in warrior three. Bring the knee into the chest, find back into your chair with katasana. Push out of the right leg. Left leg straight out to the front. Left leg back, right arm to the front. Shoulders relax. Both arms up into the air, swing the left foot back. Warrior three. Left knee into the chest, right back with Katasana chair on the front of the mat. Sit over the heels, roll all the way back into Navasana. You can keep the legs straight or bend the chest up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Roll back on to the shoulders, we want to come back up to chair. So use the momentum, come straight back up. Exhale, forward, forward. Halfway lift, step or jump back. Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, good facing down. And exhale, downward facing down. 
right leg high. Keep it straight if you like, open the hip as well. And with the leg straight, which is much harder, try to cross it under to the side plank variation. Hold it up, maybe place the hand on the foot so it can lift the leg a little higher. Let go of the leg, right leg left. Step it to the front, into a high lunge this time. Windle it open, warrior two. If you want to place the hands behind the head, that's fine. If you want more arms over the head, try to connect the side ribs on either side. We'll just do three repetitions on each side. The legs don't move, just the torso right to left. Use the exhale to go into the side. Inhale, warrior two, arms out, come to the front, half moon. You can either hold half moon, you can do the bent leg variation that we did before, or you can try to bring the leg straight towards the hand that's lifting up. And last one, we'll meet back in half moon. We bend the standing leg. One breath in warrior two, right palm flips, reverse warrior. Come back, warrior two, and let down, red leg lifted. Hold plank with the right leg lifted. Bring the knee into the chest, hips low. Let the knee swing from right to left, from the right and left arm. And five, four, Three, two, one. Straight leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, good facing up. And exhale, downward facing down. One long cycle of breath. And we do the other side, left leg straight back. If you like, keep it straight. Heel back. Flow it forward and underneath. Side leg variation. Left leg just lifted. We place the hand to the foot, maybe lift it actively. Both hands down. Three legged down, down. Step it into a high lunge this time. Windle it open over your two. Hips down. Hands behind the head or straight up. Lean to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Go from side to side with your own breath. The breath is a good guide to know where your body is comfortable at. We'll meet back in center. Warrior two, lean to the front, into your half moon on the left side. Right arm up. Stay in half moon if that's enough. Head behind, elbow to knee, or straight leg to the hand. And if the foot doesn't touch the hand, that's also fine. There's a lot of happenings in the balance already. I'm just holding half moon is already a core exercise. We'll meet back in half moon. We bend the standing leg, find the warrior two. Left palm flips, reverse. Left leg low, breathe into the left rib cage. Warrior two, when lit down, left leg lifted. Stay here if that's already enough, otherwise, knee into the chest. One, two, wipe from right to left. And then left leg straight back, Chaturanga. Inhale, foot facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Long deep breath. Slow the breath down. Step or jump to the front, halfway left. Exhale, forward. Utkatasana, chair, hands over the side. 
sit low, come onto the toes, squeeze the knees, and sit a little lower, so you sit over the heels, lower back down into your boat. Let's hold for 10 this time, squeeze the knees, squeeze the legs, chest open, head back in one line with the um, spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll back, we'll meet back in chair. Sink back onto the heels, lower the knees down. Enjoy a moment of ankles and a foot stretch. Maybe close your eyes, right hand to the left. Give some love to your feet that you use for walking every day. Untuck the feet. Sit back. Let's do the reverse. You can come onto the fingertips and lift both of your knees. And neutral position. Place the hands next to the knees. Come onto the toes by pressing into the hands, look into your knees. Lower it down as slow as you can. That's also a rolling action that's coming from the core. So use your time. If you can't go all the way up to the toes, that's also fine. The more you press into the hand, the lighter it gets on the feet. And that's what we want. Let's do three more. Just two. And one. Sit back down over the heels. Maybe give you a little child's pose, resting the forehead on the earth. Relax the shoulders alongside of the body. If it feels good, wiggle them out. Roll back up. Use your hands so you can come onto the toes. Squeeze the knees in. And now place the hands to the front. Knees stay high in the triceps. Lean to the front, place the feet down. And just walk to the front and back through ideally a crow on the back of the mat. It's the same lift that we just worked on. Maybe you can do three or four forward and back. And then when we are all the way in the front of the mat, maybe we can shift the weight and lift both feet at the same time, maybe just one at a time, and hold, crow for three long breaths. Pull the navel in and up. Use the support of the core to not dump so much weight on the back of the triceps. And then shoot your legs back, if you like, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing down. And exhale. Downward facing down. One long breath. Bring the knees down. Walk the hands out to the front. But keep an engagement in your arms, not moving the chest down so much. We'll press the left hand down, lift the right arm next to the ear. And then make a big circle to the sacrum, flipping the palm. Inhale forward, exhale towards the sacrum, last one, forward alongside of the ear, back to the sacrum, and then place the hand on the sacrum, try to lift the elbow up, maybe look over the right side, low twist, release, right hand back to the front, relax both shoulders for a moment. And then come back to the engagement in the core and in the ribs, right hand down, left arm lifts. Whole circle to the outside, not touching the sacrum. We just go for the rotations first. 
three times. And on the third one, you place the hand on the sacrum, twist over the left side, look over the left shoulder to the left elbow, pull the navel in and up. And exhale, release. Hand back to the front, forehead or chin to the mat. Two long breaths. Lean back to the front. Stay on your forearms. Place the left forearm parallel to the front of the mat. Right hand reaches back to the inside of the foot. You want to make sure the shoulders are looking to the front. You can use the push of the leg to pull the right shoulder back. If you want more, you can lift the right knee up by squeezing the glute. And then release. Right hand down, forearm in front of you, left hand reaches back for the inside of the leg. Rotate actively the right shoulder back. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you want to pull on the toe, maybe lift the left knee above the mat to make it a little more active. And exhale, lower, all the way down, laying on your belly, resting the forehead on your hands. Depending on your lower back, you can keep the feet hip width apart or all the way together. Interlace the hands behind the head. Now we want to lift the elbows wide and come off the mat. Exhale, lower, five times. Inhale, lift from the back. Exhale, lower. Keep the feet on the mat. And last one, keep the head lifted, arms to the front. Superman, hold for five. Four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Wiggle the hips from side to side. Place your hands back underneath the chest. Sit back over the heels. I'll show you the next one before we do it. Because it's a little harder to understand if you didn't watch it, right leg lifts, we open the heel like we did before, but then we step back into a wild thing, and then bring the right knee up and find the hand to the toe. Right leg steps back, open, and whoop, hand to the foot. Okay, now let's do that together. We start in a down duck. Right leg high, knee opens into a wild thing, make a step behind the leg. And shift the weight into the side plank, maybe tap the hand to the foot, right leg left. Now cross it under like we did before, inner edge of the foot to the front, tap the left hand to the foot, bring the back, three-legged dog dog. Let's do it one more round. Open the hip, while thing on the left side. Right arm up, tap the foot to the hand, right hand down, cross it under, left hand to the foot. All the way back, three-legged down, down. Step it down, down, down. We'll try the other side. Left leg high. Open the heel to the glute and the hip. Step it back behind the right, left arm. Try to bring the left foot to the right hand. Left hand down. Cross it under, right hand to the foot. Three-legged down, down. Left leg high. Wild thing. Step it back. Left arm up and draw the back back. And to the foot. Left hand down. Cross it up. Amazing. Both left leg lifts. We'll find back into our down dog. Let's enjoy a stretch for the hips. Right leg lift. Bring the knee to the right wrist. Pigeon on the side. 
the down, check if your hips are go both going forward. Come onto the fingertips, maybe you can bring the shoulders over the hips. Maybe even back. Hands in front of the heart, let's try to twist. You can bring the elbow to the knee for just a breath. Come back to center, lower it down. Sleeping pigeon. Let the breath be deep here. Move the breath into an area of your body that you feel tensed up, and that you've worked more than usual. Come back onto your hands. Free the right leg. Maybe shake it out before you place it down. The left leg lifts. Knee to the left wrist. Pigeon on the side. Come onto the fingertips. Make sure the hips are pointing forwards. Maybe you can get light on the fingertips. Maybe walking the hands back. Navel in. Hands in front of the heart, twist over the left. You can also do that with the hands down, if it's too much to bring the elbows down. Come back to center and lower down to sleeping pigeon. Use the breath as your tool to calm down your body, to calm down your mind. It's always available to you. Come back onto the hands so you can free the left leg. Shake it up. Arrive in your down dog and really observe how different that down dog feels already in comparison to the beginning of this class. And then we step or jump to the front, halfway lift. Exhale, forward foot. Find a chair one more time. Arms alongside of the ears. Come onto the toes. Feel the shaking of the legs, shifting the hips back. Sit it down over the heels. All the way into Navasana. Squeeze the knees together, legs straight or back. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in, roll down onto the back. Hands next to you. Squeeze the legs together, and we want to tap both of the feet to the front of the mat. And bring it back up. You never want to bring the knees closer than 90 degrees because then you release the tension of the belly muscle. So the belly muscle wants to work all the time. The further you can reach the feet out to the front, the more you'll feel it. And the shaking of that muscle is normal. So keep going. Inhale brings the knees in. Exhale, tap the feet into water. And five, four, squeeze the knees together. Three, two, is the lumbar spine lifting completely. Five, very nice. Feet together and place them, Parakonasana on the mat, knees wide. Let the knees wiggle a little bit from right to left to do snap the inner grind. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. I'm not done yet, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bring the feet up and try to crunch the elbows to the knees. Inhale, open, but the head and the feet never want to touch the mat. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, release. Use your exhale to pull the knees and the elbows together. Mm 
and five, four, three, two, and last one, hold the squeeze, elbows to knee, look towards the navel, and relax, feet down, windshield wipe the knees from right to left. We'll have one more, it's one of my favorite exercises, bring the right knee across the left, right arm underneath, Garudasana crunches, straighten the arms over the head, straighten the leg, and bring the elbows to the knee. Inhale, open, exhale, compress. Work in your own pace here as well. We're more working into the straight core muscles here. And then we switch left arm on top, left arm underneath. Keep going. Pull the elbows to the knees. And five, four, three, two, and one. Release the arms, pull the knees into the chest, make a little circle right to left. Take the outside of the feet for a happy baby, release the knees down if you keep. Rocking from right to left, you may release the big spine muscle, otherwise stay static. And then release the leg straight down, left leg straight, right leg up above your hips. Bring the hands up, let's try to touch the foot five times. And lifting the shoulders up. And four, three, two, and one. Grab anywhere on the back of the leg that's comfortable so you can enjoy the stretch. Bringing the leg closer to the hat. You also may want to bend the knee if it's too much to do it with a straight leg. Sometimes it also helps to wiggle the foot a little bit to get the nerve in the back of the leg released or maybe just the toes. Relax the stretch, bend the right knee into the chest and guide with the left hand the knee over to the left side, right arm out, spinal twist. Try to relax the right shoulder down, maybe bring the gaze towards the right. If you want to do it with a straight leg, you're welcome to do so as well. Bring it back to center, straighten out the right leg, left leg high above the hip, hands straight above the shoulders. Try to touch the foot five times. Keep it from the core. And four, three, two, and last one. Take a hold behind the leg and enjoy the stretch on this side. Anything you did on the other side, try to even it out. Maybe there's a difference between both sides. Just take note without judging. Rebend the left leg. With your right hand, guide the knee over to the right side, left arm out, spinal twist. Look over the left shoulder, let the pack release. Tap more into softness. Trust your body. Bring the knee 
back to center. Come onto both of your feet so you can touch the heels. Just stretch out the core, lift the hips high. If you like, you can interlace the hands behind the back to get a little more lift in the chest. Slow down the breathing. Relax the arms if you had them, roll down one vertebra at a time. Pull the knees in, give yourself a big hug by grabbing the front of the shins, pulling the nose in. Take a deep breath here, exhale. Inhale one more time, squeeze, hold your breath. Squeeze all the muscles that you can find. And exhale softly, release into your final resting pose. Shavasana, legs met with a part, palms facing up. The breath can be completely natural here. No need to control. And light softness back into your body. Take a little walk from the toes to the crown of the head. Relax the feet. Relax the shins and the calves. Let go of any tension in the knees. Allow the thighs to relax. The, group, the glutes to release together with the front of the hip. Soft belly and soft lower back. The rib cage open and wide. So the heart can expand. The shoulders relaxed and soft. Walk alongside of both of your arms from the shoulders to the fingertips. Let go, release. throat and the neck, soft. Your face, your gaze, soft. Your mind free from any thoughts. The whole body resting in this Final pose, Shavasana. Soak it in. Soak in all these pleasurable moments that seem so small when we look at them. And all these tiny steps that we do are leading to the bigger picture. Maybe you can just break it down in all these little pleasurable moments. A moment when you feel the sun on your face, or when you share a hug with a good friend, when you rest here at the end of your practice and just feel that sweet release. They're all part of it. You may stay here a little longer if you have time. If you need to move on with your day, invite the depth of the breath to wake you up slowly. Deepen the breath, 
so it can move from the toes to the crown of the head, filling you up with that life force. Very gentle movements in your fingers and toes, wiggle your head from side to side. As you move your arms over the head, give yourself a big stretch. And exhale, turn yourself into fetal position. Pull the knees into the chest, rest your head on your arms. Thank yourself for your amazing practice, for your dedication to show up. And then roll yourself back up into a seat. You see, see that meditation. Witness your practice. Witness the space you created within. And come back to the space that's around you. Get your hands back together in front of your heart. Place the intention into that space. And we'll end practice by chanting Om Shanti 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 together. Inhale. center your seat of intuition to your lips for speaking your truth and back to your heart namaste